Bear and Trail Show. Easter edition. Well, you might have remembered. This doesn't sit on my head anymore. I don't know. I lost so much weight, you know. That's a really big thing. I've lost a lot of weight this year. <laughs> so wonderful. My boss is always like, you keep losing weight. It's kind of awesome. Um, so I am like almost super skinny at this point, which is pretty exciting. But um, we were meant to have a bigger Easter series, but I spent the whole day with my wonderful new friend, Jeff. And we just, we had the best time. And he doesn't have Kinder Eggs. So I was showing him Kinder Eggs. I thought the Kinder Egg toys were kind of sucky, but he liked it. Because you never know. They're a surprise toy. You don't know if they're going to be sucky or not. But <laughs> it was awesome anyway. And we watched um, Easter Bunny's Coming to Town, which uh, he hadn't seen. And we just had a really great time on Zoom. So it was super fun to spend some time with somebody else. Um, on Easter because I've not been able to do that for a very long time. And Bear enjoyed it too. Didn't you, Bear? Didn't you? Didn't you? Yeah, he did. He really did. It's also Bear's adoption day. So he's got to hang out with me all day because we had a really good weekend. We had Friday off and Saturday off and Sunday off. Mwah. So we had the best time for hanging out with my wonderful gifted friends and um yes and hanging out so it's awesome and doing some stuff and you know i'm doing some other kinds of things we did a little bit of artwork and i'm doing some other kinds of stuff so it's just fun so i'm enjoying it and i got to go back to work tomorrow so i thought goodness we've got to do our easter show before it gets too late to do our easter show because it's like friday no Sunday night now, like in five, five o'clock, I think five thirty, something like that. Anyway, so I thought we got to do some kind of Easter show. So this is my Easter bunny hat still. And so we're going to do that. We had the most, like I said, beautiful time in watching the Jesus uh, mini series for 1999. It's highly recommended. I would, I think you should watch it if you like it. We like it. Bear likes it. I like it. It's who I imagine Jesus to be if we actually met or when we actually meet, right? So he is risen. He is risen indeed. So that's the, um, yeah, that I think is the beautiful message of Easter day. So I did do some decorating. You might see it over there. And yeah, so I can't believe it's Easter evening already. So I thought, what did I want to do? I had lots of Easter books I wanted to share. I had one about Paddington, and then I had a couple of other ones. But I thought, you know, I'm going to go with this one, which I may have recorded years and years ago. Um, but it doesn't seem to be on my feed anymore. So all the new people that subscribed, I thought, well, maybe you'd like to see it because, of course, Mary Magdalene means a lot to me, and this is a very powerful time in her journey because, of course, she is the one that Jesus came to, and whatever people might say about that, there was a point to that. There was a reason why he came to Jesus first. Jesus came to Mary first, right? There was a very, very big reason, and so... Um, I really believed it was a very powerful thing. And as that was glorious Easter day, I wanted to do that book. So, boom! Mary Magdalene's Easter story. Because she deserves her own Easter story. And I don't think that her story's been told enough. There's the Da Vinci Code idea, which, you know, I certainly read and um, liked. But, you know, who knows what the actual one is. So, I mean, we're all trying to think about it. She did have her own gospel called the Gospel of Mary in the Gnostic Gospels, should you want to look it up. So, Bear and I, and we had the most wonderful, goodness gracious, did I have the most wonderful Easter candy? I did. I had, um, I didn't have peeps, but I did have three kinds of jelly beans. And then I also, because I want to have peeps, but I can't do the gelatin that much. And um, I also had cupcakes. And then I had white chocolate, um, a white chocolate Easter bunny, which was very good. I had that this morning. And then what other things did I have? Well, I had some of the Kinder Eggs, because as I said, my friend Jeff had never seen them. So I did an unboxing video for my uh, wonderful group online. 
and uh, we watched it. It was super fun because I just like a good unboxing video. So he really liked it too. So that was something that we also did on this Easter Sunday, 2023. 2023. Can you believe it? So that's kind of where we are. So we're kind of doing a bit of a how are you Easter Sunday show. Things are going amazingly well. I'm still here in my wonderful apartment, and I'm loving it, and it's very good. It's very good for me. I'm really enjoying it. And um, we've come through a lot, Bear and I. We've come through a lot. So that's kind of where we are here, and we're getting very excited to the best part of the year. Because it's going to get warmer. Well, we're hoping it's going to get warmer. It's going to be the summer. It's going to be easier. And we're going to enjoy that very much. We're going to enjoy the sun and get to be around the sun way more time. So I'm very happy about the summer coming and being able to hopefully get a tan again. Because I've got the sun now. So we are very excited that we have the sun now. Right, baby? Yeah. 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 So he's... <laughs> He's just resting it up a little bit. He's resting it up. So, but bear, we got to be excited because this is our Easter show. Woo! Woo! So, thank you. So, he was kind of excited. So, we're going to do this one. And I got this from a place called House of James, which is a really nice bookstore. Um, I haven't been able to get there because, as you know, I've been having some health issues and driving issues. But my wonderful new car, Benjamin, is going amazing. So, you know, I've been able to buy him, pay for him. I can't believe that it's, you know, I remember this time last year I didn't have a car. I don't know if you guys remember. But this time last year I didn't have a car, remember? And I was going on the bus everywhere. Oh, that was not an enjoyable experience. <laughs> you know, but I did get pick up Benjamin in June, in June. So I was just starting. I had to wait for him, but it all worked out so well. I bought him. I picked him out and did everything. And then we did get him the uh, end of June, June 23rd. As a matter of fact, that was the day that I picked him up. So very, very exciting. Yeah, so, and here we are, April 9th, April 9th, I believe, so that's kind of amazing. So, let's have a look. This is the back of the book, as you can see, it was $3.49 way back when, and, um, yeah, it's from a, a book series called Arch Books, Bible Story Series, and there's so many different kinds of amazing books so it says, sharing God's word through bright illustrations and lively rhymes. So let's read this bear. Okay, let's do Bear's Book Corner song. Bear's Book Corner. Bear's Book Corner. Bear's Book Corner right now. Boom, boom, boom. Bear's Book Corner. Bear's Book Corner. Bear's Book Corner right now. Boom, boom, boom. Right on, baby. Yeah, so it's Bear's Book Corner. So that's the plan. No, you did a good job. You did a wonderful job. Right? You did. So this is what it is. So can anyone tell me what this is a picture of? If you know, then you know. So if you're Christian, maybe you know. Because this is a very important piece of everything. It is the quintessential piece of Easter. Right? There's, the, there's right here. There's the angels. There's a place where the stone has been rolled away. There's Jesus alive again. He is risen. He is risen indeed. And there's Mary Magdalene, you know, um, wondering where her, her master is. So let's have a look. And it says, Mary Magdalene's Easter story. Mary Magdalene visits the empty tomb, John 20, 10 to 18 for children. And it was made in 19, no, in 20... 2005, so 2005. So that's when it was made. So let's see. With eyes filled with tears and footsteps so slow, Mary of Magdala knew where she must go the Friday before, that's Good Friday, at the foot of the, his cross. Mary saw Jesus die. Now she felt a great loss. Well, I think we all did, didn't we? It was a very brutal time. Okay, 
As she walked towards the place where his body now lay, Mary remembered how Jesus had freed her one day. Well, he freed everybody. From demons that bothered her year after year, and she thought of his kindness, she smiled through her tears. Although she wasn't a prostitute, they just made that up to, to discredit her. She was actually the apostle to the apostles. But you know how people are sometimes. If they're jealous, I'm thinking of Peter in this instance, you know, one of the apostles. But there were plenty of other people too. Um, she traveled with Jesus, his disciples, and others. Jesus treated them all as sisters and brothers. She remembered how Jesus had preached about love, how he healed the sick, explained heaven above. But now it's all over, Mary thought with a sigh. Oh, why did he leave us? Oh, why did he die? Yeah, I think we all wondered that, right? We all wondered why that was. But it was God's prophecy. So, Mary stopped walking. She had come to the cave where Jesus was sealed in a cold, stony grave. Mary started to cry because something was wrong. The tomb had been opened and Jesus was gone. Oh my goodness, look. Do you guys remember this part of the story? She's going to see Jesus, but he's gone. Remember, he did say that he was going to ascend. He was going to come up from the grave, which he did. He did do that. Two angels inside asked, why do you weep? And a man near Mary asked, whom do you seek? I look for my Lord, she said in despair. His body's been taken. Perhaps you know where? The man answered Mary. When she heard his voice, she looked up to see Jesus. How her heart did rejoice. I always think how amazing that must have been for Mary to think that her Jesus had died and then to see him walking around. That must have been amazing for her, the joy she must have felt. I think it's like the joy we all feel on Easter morning when we realize that Jesus is alive and so are we. He is risen. Teacher, cried Mary, is that really you? Jesus answered her gently. There is more I must do. I must go to my father, who is your father too. Go tell my disciples what you've seen here is true. Because, you know, people didn't believe Mary because, you know, really women back in those days didn't really have a lot of credibility. So the men, the men apostles, they didn't really believe her, right? But she's trying to tell them that Jesus is alive and they weren't really buying it. But she went and told them anyway. She obeyed right away, and she ran to the place where the disciples had gathered. Mary told of God's grace. God is great. He is mighty. He fulfills all our needs. Jesus lives. He is risen. He is risen indeed. And I think that's something that we always say to each other on this holy Easter day. He is risen. He is risen indeed. And we all can. So that's the end of the story. Uh, but let's see, you know, if we can read this. It says, Dear Parents, Amid the turmoil and confusion of Jesus' last week on earth, Mary Magdalene stayed near him. She traveled with Jesus and his disciples on the journey to Jerusalem and was in the crowd on Palm Sunday. That's when they had all those palms and they laid them at Jesus' feet when he was riding on the donkey into Jerusalem. That's that part. She was likely present at Jesus' trial and torture and certainly was in the crowd at his crucifixion. Mary Magdalene did what she could to care for Jesus in his life, and she continued in her devoted care after his death. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb to observe the Jewish tradition and anoint his body with spices. In Mary Magdalene, we have a picture of Jesus' work in our lives. He cast demons from her, provided her with his forgiveness and healing. Mary's response was a life of devotion to her Savior. She followed, listened, learned, and served in his name. And when she learned about his victory over death and resurrection from the grave, she ran to spread the news. This Easter, tell your child about Mary Magdalene. Talk about ways you can follow her example of faith and witness. And rejoice that he is risen. Well, I know she's such a wonderful model for me in uh, my walk with Jesus. She's an amazing 
amazing woman. And I know that, you know what, I am too. And uh, God thinks I'm amazing. And so does Jesus. So I need to remember who does Jesus say I am. Not who my family said I was. You know, not maybe who people say, but who does Jesus say I am. And know that myself. So that's our kind of briefer Easter story um, this Easter day. And we hope that you guys had a wonderful Easter time as well. And we'll see you again. Right, Dee Dee? Happy Easter, everybody. Happy, happy Easter. Bye.